Hey everybody, Craig Cottle from Nature Reliance School, the survival instructor at dansdepot.com. Got some more survival Q&A questions for you, so we're going to go over those. Got two really cool questions for you today. Glad you're with us. Um, sorry, got uh, Zane and I are out shooting today, and so I got my headset on in case he starts going at it again. He'll let me know. But uh, first question comes from Thomas Smart. The question is, with the advancement of technology, are a lot more survivalist outdoorsmen starting to use iPads and tablets more and more? Uh, great question. Uh, as I read this off of my iPad. Basically, I'm using my iPad on these videos for the sole purpose of making sure I get the questions exactly the way you all ask them. So uh, that's the only reason I'm using it. I don't find a real good use other than edible medicinal plants for me to take my iPad to the woods. There's a few apps out there, particularly Steve Brill's app. He's a friend of mine and we've talked a number of times through Facebook on edible medicinal plant subjects. But uh, uh, he's got an app that is fantastic that I use on the iPad and when I have the ability, uh, I can utilize it if I have cell service or Wi-Fi on my iPad to show people when I'm teaching edible medicinal plants. So that is about the only thing that I've come up with that makes it real useful. There's not a whole lot of apps out there that are what I would consider uh, field friendly. Most of the stuff that's apps for survivalists and outdoorsmen is basically things that you can read at home and study the subject, which is good. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But as far as a field expedient use, I'm not necessarily seeing it. I have seen some sniper dope apps that you can utilize to dope your scope for a sniper um, so you know obviously that's a good use um, for studying the ballistics of bullet drop and all those number of things that affect that sort of uh, shooting aspects but but uh, other than that i don't really see a lot of use because they're just too fragile um, i'm rough when i'm in the outdoors i just go for it other than when i'm just sitting and reading so other than taking notes or something like that i don't see a great use for them and I, I use them here to make sure I get your questions exactly the way you ask them. And another question for today, and this one comes from Ethan McDaniel, who's on the Dan's Depot crew, and he legitimately had this question. Um, what is the importance of having a survival plan and having it in place? So, uh, great question, Ethan. So, uh, the, the answer to that question, is, I hope, is is very important to you in that you must have a survival plan and it must be something that everybody that's in your party whether that's you and another person that you room with a family or a group that you're going to shelter in place or work with as a tribe you need to work together and have a plan uh, it's one of those things that needs to be something that goes with the flow obviously so basically you want to have a plan that you know you have contingency plans that go along with it However, having a plan and studying it and working together is going to be an absolute must before any particular event might happen so that you're adequately prepared. Obviously, we've put the Dan's plan together so that you have that and you can utilize that as a base. There's plenty of room in there for you to put your own notes. So go ahead and download the Dan's plan. It's totally free. I'm the one that wrote it, put it together. There's been a number of people on our forums and our team that are continuing to make it better and better and better now. So that rough draft that we put out a long time ago is now yours uh, based upon the Dan's Depot family putting all kinds of information together. Great question, Ethan, and I hope to see you all either on or off the trail.